Thanks for staying with us. So we've agreed that there are pros and cons for actually boarding school or day students. But let's talk about how we can make boarding house more effective and more beneficial to the students there. Yeah. So for me, I think, um, you know, when we're a lot younger, our parents don't really have a relationship with the school. Mm. You know, just go, drop, pay the fees, drop your children till end of term and all of that. But now we are... More parents that are aware we are more informed and so we now build relationship with our teach the teachers of our children the school owners we have a relationship we can easily i'm sure all of you have your the heads of school for your yes. children you have their numbers mm -hmm. so they should have an open door policy where parents can have an input in what is happening i remember where i used to work parents can come in at any time there's an open door policy you walk in you say you want to see your child you may not necessarily speak to the child but you can look into the classroom and see what's happening stay around and observe you can go into the hostel and check his locker make sure that he's adhering that's a school and people are trooping there with their children mm. because they've been able to build trust when i'm picking schools for my children i'm very particular about how the teachers or the school heads behave around me entering their environment mm. if they are very shady and no you can't enter no you can't i'm like I will not be able to trust these people. There's so much going on mm -hmm. that they will not mm -hmm. let me know. But mm -hmm. if they are more open to you, can come in. I'm not a mad person. Now. Why would I be going there every time to do something? <laughs> but there's some mad parents. No, no, no. They, 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 they know parents. that you are now a mad parent and they can tell you that you can't come all the time. But for every it's normal, no, as a mother, you have those parent. instincts, you have those intuition that mm. something is happening. But you cannot because child. you have a dream. No, no. Nah. You're not going to disrupt my school activity. I'm talking about children. 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 Under the mountain, I and they are constantly seeing one vision. So those kind of mothers are coming to destroy my school activity. This is wrong. Except something is very wrong with the child for you to be seeing that child in the dream every day. <laughs> it doesn't happen like that. If something is wrong with your child and you have that feeling, it's okay it's for you to be child. allowed to check on I your agree. child. Any school that refuses you to enter, that means they are shady about what is happening in that yeah. school environment. Mm -hmm. So an open door policy will likely okay, help I like, us I like that. I like yeah. that. Yeah. So uh, just also add to that, um, let me use an example. I remember my cousin, he went to a Christian secondary school, boarding school, mm -hmm. and he was horribly, horribly treated mm -hmm. by um, seniors. And um, the, 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 the school didn't really pay attention to it. It was just a particular time we went for visiting. The way he looked, oh, disheveled, yeah. really dirty, and whatever. We just knew something was up. And they had also accused him of some things. And we, you know, you know your child now. You know what you raised. And then all of a sudden he turns. And when we found out, it was just all sorts of bullying. He just did not fit in there. And she moved him from that big school to a much smaller school. And he did so well there. So for for for. For schools, boarding schools, I think if they are big schools, create smaller cells mm. that has um, like a matron, a school a therapist, a, a group, uh, you know, a, a, a counselor for that community. So they also know, like I think for my school, we used to have houses. So you have blue house, red house, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. But the um, teachers that were supposed to head were not so involved. So you need maybe one or two more teachers who are involved that can even sit with the kids and mm. talk to them in the evening within the hostel, not talking at them because you know we, we know how to do that. Yeah. Tell you what to do, follow the rules, yeah. blah, blah, blah. But nobody's sitting with you and asking, so how far? There was a day I visited school and I just went randomly out of work. And I saw my child, I, I usually have this tiptoe behavior when I get to school. Because once this class was changed from the one I could peep through the window, I started tiptoeing around the school. <laughs> so I tiptoed to the class door. She didn't notice I was there. And I looked at my child sitting in the corner in the playgroup. And all the other kids were playing and he was shivering. Oh my God. Speaking mm -hmm. right not get fever. Oh my God. I told her, see tomorrow me and that's his child, we have something to do there. If it's not for, the day I see her, I just know something. The moment I spoke up and he saw me, was like, I said, no, let me get you to your sister's class. He said, no, no mommy, you have to hold me. me. Oh. From that day, I started checking that child. Mm -hmm. so what are you talking about secondary so, school? How about daycare I'm, centers? Oh, I'm talking about... Mm -hmm. So imagine in the secondary school where the bullies are the ones in front and the boy just would not say well, okay, so You should notice when he's not, when he's not free to mm -hmm. say anything. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so we're talking about the children that are bullied. What are those who are bullied? Who are the bullies? The themselves? bullies themselves. Exactly. They also need counseling. They also yes. need to be talked to. Yes. Because they are also a product of their own family or whatever see, their relationship with their the parents. The teachers need to be more involved. You need to see the signs. You need to know who the bully is and who they are bullying. Most teachers do not understand that, do not know who is being bullied or do not know who the, those who are, um, who are the bullies themselves. Teachers need um, 
um, teachers need training, not just on the teaching of the curriculum. Yeah. We need to talk about mental health.